Hello, hello gang. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. In today's video, I am going to be doing part one of my diamond painting stash. Now you guys, this is a video that a number of people have actually requested. I was a little hesitant to do it for a few reasons. Firstly, it's pretty embarrassing just how massive and large my stash is. And secondly, getting all the diamond paintings out so that I can show them was going to be a mission. But at the end of the day, I decided to do this. Lots of YouTubers have done this. Now, please, guys, be kind in the comments. <laughs> please don't attack me for the amount of paintings I have. Um, I think it's important to know that I have been buying diamond art from the US for about three years now, maybe even over three years. So the collection I'm going to be showing you, you know, has been amassed over a long period of time. Over and above this, diamond painting and reading are my two major hobbies. It's what I spend my spending money on. And I do actually work on my diamond paintings all the time, every day. At the moment, for an example, or as an example, I have six kitted up and I work on them all at different times and on different days. So I am happy with my stash and I am happy to share it with all of you. Just another thing to note that this is going to be what I'm going to call part one of sharing my stash with you. I think I'm going to do four parts um, just because I don't want the video to be exceptionally long and also it's just easier for me to pull out specific diamond paintings rather than absolutely everything. So part one that you are watching today is going to be my Dreamer Designs stash. It's going to be every single Dreamer Designs canvas that I currently have in my stash. Part two and part three are going to be Diamond Art Club and then part four are going to be everything else. So craftably distracted by diamonds and other things that I find in my stash. So without further ado, I'm going to get started with this video. Um, because of how Dreamer Designs don't have any of the images on the front of the box, I'm going to just have to quickly rearrange my camera so that I can get the camera in a specific angle so that I can actually show you the bottom of the box, which is where the picture of the image is. So give me a sec and I'll be right back. Okay, gang, so I am back. I've gotten the camera angled in such a way that I think I'm going to be able to show you you know these boxes just know that unfortunately you may see my feet and my leg and the bottom of my chair <laughs> at times throughout this video just because this is the angle that's going to work to show you guys what I have okay so let's kick off so I only have three what I would call small diamond paintings from dreamer design so let me show you those first so let's kick off guys so here is the first one this is lady luck licensed from Romy Lerda and the size is a 40 by 50 centimeter. I can't remember if this one is round or square. Those of you that are familiar with Dreamer Designs will know that unfortunately their boxes do not confirm whether the diamond painting inside the box is a round drill or a square drill. So that is my one criticism of the boxes. Obviously it's impossible to know. But anyway guys, that's my first one, Lady Luck. Then for my second one, this is Meet Me at the Diner, licensed from Reagan Kubitschek, and the size is 40 by 60 centimeters. Then next we have this gorgeous one that I actually can't wait to work on. I really need to get to this one soon. This is We're All Mad Here, licensed from Reagan Kubitschek, and also in size 40 by 60 centimeters. So those are my three small ones. I'm now going to kick off with showing you all the rest, um, which are primarily from one artist, and I'm sure you guys know who. <laughs> so let's start with this gorgeous damsel. This is Daydreamer, licensed from Curtis Rykovich in the size 60 by 80. Then we have Salem, also from Curtis Rykovich, and also in the size 60 by 80. 
I think what I'm going to do, guys, is just know that everything I'm going to show you now is from Curtis Reykjavik and is in the size 60 by 80. I'm literally just going to show you the images and give you the name. I don't think I need to repeat the artist and the size every single time when it's the when it's the same. But anyway, here is the next one, Neon Love. I love the color palette in this one. I really should try and get to that one soon. Then we have rabbit in red now we have this one which is sombra this one is also a square next we have mariposa also a square diamond painting and look at the gorgeous oranges and reds in the background of this one this one is also stunning then next we have indigo i love 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 this one i really i really must start working on some of these then next we have Bride of Frankenstein, another stunning one from Curtis. Then the next one we have is called The Twins. I think this one is supposed to be linked to the book The Shining by Stephen King. Then next is Crimson. This one sort of has a bit of a wintry feel to it. I think actually Curtis released a, a collection of sort of winter damsels and this was one of them. And then we have Viridescent. This is another stunning one. A witch with her witch's hat and potion sitting on top of her hat. Then this is another wintry themed one. This is Lilac. Then we have Spirit. The color palette in this one is going to be stunning. It looks like it's mainly blues and purples. Then we have this slightly older one which is called Hazel. That's another witch. And then next we have Dahlia. Then another one from that winter collection that I was talking about. This is Peppermint. This one is called Shadow Alice. And this is probably one of my favorites in the collection. I just absolutely love this one. Then we have Blanca. This is also another one that I absolutely love. I think it's a sort of darker color palette perhaps. Then here is Alice. And this is also a slightly older kit as well. This is called Radiant Rainbow. Then here we have Moon and Star, which is an absolute favorite of mine as well. And then here we have Biological Key. And then these last two that I'm going to show you from Curtis are newer ones that I purchased. This is True Love. And then this one is the last one that I have from Curtis Reykjavik, and this is called Have I Gone Mad? Then, guys, I do have three last kits from Dreamer Designs to share with you. These are not Curtis Reykjavik uh, kits, so let me show you the first one. This is Pisces. This is licensed from Tanya Bond, and also a big size, 60 by 80. I just love the look of this one. I mean, no one in my family is a Pisces, <laughs> but I just absolutely love this, this artwork. Then the next one that I have from Tanya Bond is also part of that same collection. And this is Scorpio, also in the size 60 by 80. This is, um, or I should rather say that my sister is a Scorpio, but again, I just love this image. So I decided to pick this one up. And then my very, very final Dreamer Designs image is this one. This is Libra. I am a Libran. My dad is a Libran. My husband is a Libran. <laughs> so we have a lot of Librans in our family. So I obviously couldn't resist picking this one up. Okay, gang. So that pretty much wraps up my Dreamer Design stash. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those. It was quite fun to share them all with you and to get a good look at them again myself. Um, sometimes one actually forgets, you know, what's in one stash. <laughs> well, when you have a large stash like this. And then when you see them again like this, it does remind me of which ones I love and which ones I want to work on. Anyway, gang, please look out for part two, part three and part four, which will be coming up. I can't say exactly when, but obviously in weeks to come, those will go up as well. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Thanks for joining me while I share all my Dreamer Designs canvases with you. I do have a wish list on the website and there is 
more that I want to buy from them. But sometimes I look at the stash and I know I just have to calm myself down. Anyway, guys, happy diamond painting. Bye.